Hey guys, Mika here again. My goodness, how are you guys doing? It feels like it's literally been an age since I've spoken to you properly. It's all been just music on my most recent video, so I do apologise about that. Um, welcome to the Bell House Academy for Mystic Arts. This is my speed build part one. Um, I have to admit, I still haven't finished this build. And I'm pretty certain that it's going to take me um, weeks to finish and even longer to edit and create into videos. So um, you guys just need to be aware that this is probably going to be a long one, but I've loved doing every second of it up until this point anyway. Um, so just a little bit of background on my build. Um, it's really strange. I know that I want, I knew that I wanted to build something large. Build a you know, multi-building sort of plot, like a town-like feel. I knew that I wanted to do something like that, but I didn't really know the purpose of it, if that makes sense, like what I wanted it to be, why I wanted it to exist. I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I got a little bit of an idea in my mind. I was looking for some inspiration on the internet and um, I wanted something very sort of Victorian, very sort of um, old and a bit creepy, quite grand, and a little bit higgledy piggledy as well, because that's very much how it was back in those days. You know, everything was, was a little bit more cramped, and you know, there was a lot more details that went into buildings. They just seemed to care a lot more back then. I'm not gonna lie. Well, that's my that's my opinion anyway. You know, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of modern builds in any way. I like really old traditional um a little bit sort of um i don't know different a little bit odd uh, that's i don't know that's uh, i suppose i'm just sort of describing myself there as well as the buildings that i enjoy <laughs> anywho back to the build so i just i can't even remember why the thought popped into my head but i, I went on google and i typed in victorian workhouses because I knew that they were very large scale buildings and they're absolutely awful places. I don't know if you guys know anything about workhouses, but my good lord, they were not the kind of place that you want to spend any amount of time in. So why on earth it, you know, shook me to, to recreate, I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it was never my intention to create a workhouse and to, you know, put children to work and put them into really small rooms and, you know, squeeze them into machinery and all of the other horrific crap that went back on back, at, back there. Um, that went on back, back then, my goodness, can't speak. Um, but I, I knew that I wanted to create something quite um, large scale and traditional so i thought that might be a place to get some kind of in inspiration from so i searched it and i found um it's it's obviously it's not a picture of a building it's a sketch of a building you know the cross hatching work the black and white sort of pen sketches that are really popular and um, back in victorian times it's one of them um and it's massive so this is not a full replica of what that building was. I just took inspiration from it because if I was to copy the entire workhouse, I'd probably need about three of three of these plots. And this is the, the largest plot in the crest, Oracle Point, Twin Oracle Point, as you can see in the corner. This is before I changed the name. Um, so yeah, I did what I could. <laughs> I did what I could, but I... I loved the inspiration. It was very, as I wanted, higgledy piggledy and all over the place. Um, and it was really fun trying to recreate it because I'm literally going off of one sketch from like the Victorian times, just pen, black and white. So it's not the easiest thing to go off of, but I was literally just looking for some kind of inspiration anyway. And then I'd sort of do the rest of the legwork if you like. So when I was first creating this, like I said, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to what I wanted it to be. This is the plot. I don't know if you can see there on the sort of bottom. Oh, she's gone now, but there was a character. There was a Sim just there, and she is uh, her name's Katie, 
and she is going to be the headmistress of the Bell House um, Academy of Mystic Arts. So originally when I was doing this, I was thinking, okay, um, because she sort of moved herself in there. This was this originally was where I put all of my CC finds. So there was there was just a, a whole lot of jumbled CC sort of spread all over the place on this lot prior to me coming along and um, building this. It was a little bit of a mess. So this sim decided to move into the lot of jumbled CC. I didn't move her in there, so I thought, okay, if you want to insert yourself into my into my sim world, then I will go with it. Let's see what you like. So her name is Katie, and originally I thought that she could potentially be the um, sort of carer at the orphanage, the, the headmistress at the orphanage. What do you call somebody that runs an orphanage? Like Miss Peregrine's um, or orphanage for, what was it, peculiar children? School for peculiar children? It isn't any way remotely linked to that, that book in any way, or, or even the film. Um, but what on earth do you call somebody that's the... Um, the head of an orphanage. Anyway, that's that's the role that I assumed that she would play. That I thought that that I wanted her to play, because I don't know if you guys have watched any of my previous cast um speed edits. I've created two Sims recently. One called Yukiji Koma, the beautiful Yukiji, and then the gorgeous Blakely and um, Buffong. So those are two characters that I um always knew were going to be orphans, and I knew that I was going to be moving them in with Katie. And there's also about eight other orphans that I want to create as well to go into this um so yeah I originally thought maybe it could be an orphanage potentially um and then I was thinking to myself well you know I've got a lot of smaller buildings outside as well as the the larger sort of grand house towards the back and the the thought of me trying to figure out what I was going to do for every room I just had no idea at that point I was kind of thinking that maybe I'd make some of them dilapidated and use some of the CC the amazing CC that I have used for the uh, my haunted house build which by the way I have added onto my blog in WordPress so all of the CC links that I use for my haunted house build can be found on my blog um, there's some amazing CC creators there, there really is. I definitely recommend checking it out. I'll put a link in my description below if you are interested. Um, side note, the Haunted House build is coming in October. I didn't want to release it before then, which is why we're going with this one. And plus, you guys voted. Um, I was more keen, I'm not going to lie, I was more keen on releasing the Haunted House build first before this and that's because it's edited and I've already finished it because I was so excited about doing it um but you guys voted and you made me you know bring you brought me to my senses basically and I was thinking why on earth would you want to release a haunted house it's not even October yet Michaela you need to calm down so thank you so much guys for for answering that question for me and for um inspiring me to to, to do this now to take action now and to not get quite so carried away with Halloween. I just need to rail it back in a little bit. Um, so anyway, we're on to the roof section and you can see the building that's already got the, the different coloured roof in the middle of the um, plot. It's got these sort of um, more traditional cottagey, uh, one with thatched sort of feels, a dark thatched. That one's from Island Living. I thought it fit perfectly. Um, that's definitely going to be an inn for sure, it's going to be sort of like a, a convenial pub kind of environment, um, potentially. But anyway, so initial thoughts of this was going to be an orphanage. Scratching my head on what to actually do with all of the buildings that I created. Like, was, can I, was I going to make them into individual apartments, uh, individual bedrooms? I literally had no idea. I was just building because I really just had this hankering to build something crazy and large scale and um, because i have i have built large scale before but it was all on my ps4 i've not built large scale to this point on my laptop yet so that's why i wanted to do it and to just have some fun with it as well um so the inspiration behind the magic academy came a little bit later um whole hype about realm of magic was going and, and i started building this before realm of magic was released and if any of you guys follow me on social media you know how freaking obsessed i am with um harry potter anything to do with magic 
So when Realm of Magic was um, sort of set, set for release and we found out about it, I, I kind of lost my cool. I'm not going to lie. Making Magic was one of my favourite expansion packs. So when I found out that this one was coming, I was, I was like, oh my gosh. Which, by the way, guys, currently the 17th of September and I still don't have it. Why? Because I'm so skint, I can barely eat right now. <laughs> so I just can't. I've got to be an idol. I just, I can't, I can't get it. It's a lot of money and it's money that I just don't have at the moment, which is why my CC that I download means just so gosh darn much to me. I actually posted something on Twitter yesterday just to say thank you to Sims Resource for basically giving me a place to go to make my worlds into um, something that uh, it's, it's, it's difficult to describe, but if you if you don't have the packs then you're sort of extremely limited to what you can actually create the moods that you can create the styles etc um so and i like to be quite different <laughs> in the builds that i do <laughs> not not different because you, you've seen you've seen my some of my builds up until this point so you know that i love traditional sort of eclecticism something a little bit different alongside that oldie worldy feel that's very much my style and there's not very many packs that i have that really give me that so i would never in my wildest dreams be able to create what i have done without the sims resource being there for, and giving me a place to shop for free which is one of the most enjoyable things in the world you know i blink and there's been three hours gone by and i've been shopping on sims resource <laughs> and that's that's it nothing else has been going on with my life um Anywho, so talking about Sims Resource and CC and links, etc. Once I get this up and running, I'm going to get this posted as soon as possible. And then as soon as that happens, I'm going to start putting together my new blog for all of the CC that I use in this. As the build isn't completely finished, I don't think it's going to be a full list of all the CC that I use. Because I, I can definitely see myself downloading more in the future to complete to complete it complete the build so um so obviously i will update my blog as i go along so you guys can um can download all of the cc that i use and then at the end once everything is finished i am going to get this out of the gallery so if you do want to add a little town into your into your sims world then you absolutely can but I came to the decision of saving. It's very important to save. I save constantly in this build. It's something that I've trained myself to do. There's been too, been too many incidences when I haven't saved and I've lost a crap ton of work. So that's definitely something that you guys should should also adopt. I'm sure you already do. I'm sure I'm the probably the only idiot out there that forgets to save still. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I digress. <clears throat> So the Magic Academy came, as I was saying, I went off onto a tangent, when don't I? Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the inspiration came from Realm of Magic. I was like, this is, this is so obvious that I cannot believe that I've not seen it before now. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not that surprised. This is me we're talking about here. I take a little while, guys, but I do get there in the end. Well, most of the time anyway. Um, so yeah, I wanted it to be a magic academy. And this has made my life a thousand times easier. Um, because when I say a thousand times easier, it means that I've been able to plan easier. I've been able to plan better. It doesn't necessarily mean that my life has miraculously become easy because of it. That's a slight exaggeration there. Um right here what i'm building at the moment this is going to eventually be the botany wing which i have now completed and if you like i've like you're mentioning <laughs> if you follow me on twitter you will have seen the end result it's 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 adorable i'm not gonna lie i um when i first started actually furnishing this i um i didn't really have all that much i had some stuff from my haunted house build but i didn't have a hell of a lot else so i actually did go do some um cc shopping for this already and i got a lot of sabrina um sabrina cc <laughs> sabrina is the name that comes to mind i know that it's sabrina potions 
Oh, here she is, that's Katie. Um, she is going to be the headmistress of the Bell House Academy for Mystic Art. There's Blakely, and there is Yukidi. Very quickly speeding on by them. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be an inn, I believe. I've still not, I've still not furnished this as of yet, and I don't know about the practicality of having a pub on site of an academy. I don't know. It's why I'm undecided about that. What do you guys think? Do you think it's inappropriate to have an inn? Or maybe it's maybe it's a place that only sells butter beer, maybe not alcohol. But I don't know because this is an academy, so it's going to be teens. You know, it's going to be teens and young adults that, that sort of go here. Um, so maybe there should be an inn. But let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I should turn that into an inn, or do you think I should turn it into something else? Because right now it's coloured to be a pub. So I'm currently going around and I am putting doors on everything because I've done the buildings and now it's time to try and figure out how people are actually going to get into them and how they sort of can figure. This is not the easiest thing in the world to do, like at all. Um, but I've, I've, I've loved it and I've, I, I have thought about doing stats for you guys. <laughs> This is how stupid and geeky and, and how much I love to waste my time. But I was considering going along and counting how many windows I placed, how many rooms there are, how many roofs, how many doors, you know, just to sort of give you a bit of an understanding or to give me a bit of an understanding, maybe a reality slap, I don't know, maybe both, but to give me a little bit of an understanding as to um, the scale of what I've done. Would you be interested in finding that out? Is, is that just an almighty waste of my time, which I'm... You know, kind of thinking it is, but you know. I also want to mention if my voice sounds super weird, I've been having so many issues with my microphone. It's just not been working for me. It's um it's a professional microphone. My my fiance is a sound engineer, so we've got a sound card, we've got a proper microphone and everything else. I don't know if it's because it doesn't work with the OBS edit um capturing studio the obs recording studio that i use i have no idea but it always makes my voice sound deeper than what it actually is because i'm really quite squeaky <laughs> um yes i have just admitted that freely but i am quite squeaky and this makes me sound way deeper and it makes james sound like barry white <laughs> <laughs> which is bizarre especially when he starts singing to me it's very funny but it's just you know it's not it it's not it um so yeah i'm still working on that so if i sound strange and if it's low down or a bit low um i don't know what's going on with it so hopefully it will get fixed in the future you never know probably probably won't be but hey and um, so now we're on to the inside. So as I said, like this little part there that I just did, that is around the botany um, area, but it's not a part of the botany wing. That one, uh, can you hear the, can you hear my notebook? I, I sketched this entire thing down. I sketched ground floor, first floor, third floor, and I did a little list of all of the things that I wanted to be included in the build. And I numbered each room. <laughs> <laughs> I take a photo of this, but it's so messy. Let me know if you want to see it and I'll post it on Twitter. Um, but yeah, so I numbered each room with the um, the key, which was the list of rooms I wanted to be included. Um, so it was just easier for me when it came to actually building things. So, so as, I was, as I was saying, that little room next to the botany wing is actually number eight on my list, which is divination. So that is going to be the divination room. I'm thinking lots of teacups, lots of cute, um, sort of, oh my gosh, teapots. I mean, put a kettle then. No, not a kettle. Um, teapots, lots of crystal balls and things like that. So I'll actually go through the list of um, things that are going to be eventually included in this build. So we have um, my number one, which is Transfiguration. Let's have a quick check. Right, so the transfiguration rooms. My gosh, where are they? Have I not put them anywhere? Instant issue happening. Where are my transfiguration rooms? 
Oh, there they are. Okay, so the transfiguration room is actually going to be in the main part of the house, and I think it's on the second floor. Um, so there you go. Number two is botany. We've already got the botany wing sorted. Number three is alchemy, which is kind of a mixture between science and magic. It fascinates me. Um, so number three is alchemy, and that's going to be on the second floor, again, above the self-defense classroom, which I actually did yesterday. Defensive casting, should I call it? Um, number four is charms. So charms is going to be on in the main building, once again, on the second floor. Um, and then we've also got, I'll just go through the list very, very quickly because I can tell I'm boring myself at this point, to be quite honest with you. Michaela, shut up! <laughs> so we've got um, four charms, five defensive casting, um, which is literally next to the botany um, wing. I posted that on my Twitter yesterday because it's completed. Number six is potions. I'm thinking just walls and walls of bottles for that one. That would be brilliant to do. Number seven, historic runes. Eight, divination, which is the one that we just mentioned, the one that's going to be placed next to the botany wing. Number nine is astrology. Um, number ten is fine arts. Right, I know that doesn't technically sound very mystical, and I suppose technically it isn't, but I'm an artist, and gosh darn it, I'm going to have some evils in this build. I don't care if it's a magic academy. Magic people can be artists too, you know. Um, 11 is going to be music. Now, again, I am aware that music is not necessarily mystical in and of itself, but I love music. My fiancé is a musician. So once again, gosh darn it, I'm going to have a music room in this build. Number 12 is dorms, and I will actually tell you where this one is going to pl be placed. The dorms are on the third floor of the main building. Um, girls on one side, boys on the other side. The reason why I've gone gender separation is because of the traditional aspect of it, but I'm I'm not necessarily going to keep it that way. Like The Sims can sleep pretty much wherever they want to. Um, I think, I mean, I change my mind constantly, so don't quote me on that one, but yeah, the dormitories are going to be on the third floor. Um, whether they will be gender neutral or whether they will be separated and stay traditional to the actual age of the property that I'm trying to recreate. See, the, the recreationalist in me is like it has to be, you know, very traditional um, with it. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think I should keep the, the dorms separate, sort of? Or do you think that I should just have, you know, set, I don't know, dorm rooms for maybe, maybe you could have like a, a set amount of rooms and they can all have like two beds in them or something. I'm, I'm just not too sure about that. So if you guys have any ideas, that would be amazing. And that again is something else that I've got um, that is, uh, is still on my list of, of to-dos. Number 13 is the Great Hall. Now number 13 is located on the ground floor. And it, you can reach it via the botany wing, actually. So that's quite interesting. Um, 14 is, a li is the library. Obviously, this place has to have a library. It's an academy. And if you've watched any of my, my speed builds previously, or if you know me at all, I'm a massive and avid reader. So there's always books littered on the floor, bookshelves. There's, there's books galore in every build that I do. Um, right, so... Also, after that, are the tunnels. Number 15 are the tunnels. I've not even started to build these yet, but I have this vision in my mind that I want... Can you? Can I just go back to the video for two seconds and stop? Look how many windows are <laughs> in this build. Like, I'm, you know, I'm intrigued to see how many I've done. Even if it is a huge waste of time, I'm just I'm intrigued. Oh! The floor going down this is from Island Living as well. I use quite a few things from Island Living in in this to recreate it actually. Um, I love that pack. I've still not played it properly because I'm a builder. So whenever I try to play live, I always just go straight back to being a builder again. So, And um, by the way, I do have my um, 
my next LP coming out as soon as possible. I have a lot of ideas regarding sort of storylines for those guys. I'm thinking when Gretchen and Matilda um, are sort of up next, they're going to go for a little bit of a drink. And I think maybe after they go to the key club for a bit of a drink and a dance, something could potentially happen. Maybe they stumble across a haunted house. I don't know. But yeah, that is something that is planned and is coming up and I can't wait for it. But again, that's going to be a storyline that I really want to happen in October for the spook month. I keep having to remind myself that it's still September. I've just had my birthday. Um, it was on last Friday, September the 13th. So yes, Friday the 13th. It was amazing. The day that, you know, it lands on on a Friday. I always love it when it lands on a Friday. My fiance was actually born on Friday the 13th as well. So yeah, strange sort of factoid <laughs> for you there. Um, but yeah, so my birthday was, was not too bad. Thank you so much to everyone that wished me well and wished me a happy birthday. It meant so much to me. You guys have no idea. And um, I suffer really badly with anxiety. Again, this is something that I've mentioned before. Um, and I always tend to have a lot of anxiety around my birthday just because um, this is something that maybe you guys don't know but I'm not in touch with my father and I've not spoken to him for gosh it's got to be about three years now so when a birthday comes up it's always a little bit like oh my gosh is he going to get in contact is he going to speak to me what's going to happen and yeah that does cause me a little bit of anxiety i'm not gonna lie don't know why i just brought that up <laughs> a little bit deep i apologize but in case you guys were wondering no he did not contact me <laughs> oh how sad anyway carrying on um so this is we've we've come to the part where i am painting the environment um in my earlier videos, I mentioned how difficult I found this. I just, I found it, I found, I found it really hard to do. And I've been training myself and I've been really sort of spending time on, on techniques and figuring out how, how I want things to look because I genuinely do feel that the correct terrain paint makes such a difference from realism um, to something that, that doesn't look quite so realistic and I always like my builds and my sims and everything that I create within the sims to, to sort of have an element of realism. What do you guys think about terrain paint? Do you use it? Do you sort of take your time with it? I mean I really went to town on this terrain paint. I um, I spent a lot of time trying to make it right and I am actually thinking about doing a terrain paint I don't want to use the word tutorial because it's literally just going over what I've learned because like I said I was absolutely horrific at this. <laughs> I was so bad at it. I, I didn't know when I didn't know where to start. I didn't know when to end doing it. I was really bad at it. So I just wanted to maybe share the little tidbits that I've learned and, and that I sort of picked up. And I do a lot of those things within this. So I'm thinking about doing just a, a video dedicated to terrain paint tutorials what do you think um is this something that you'd want to see is it worth me doing i'm i'm not too sure because obviously i'm not a tutorial channel um i just like to do to, to play the game well play the, i say play the game it's mostly building some lps i really want to do more lps but my life just just isn't allowing me to, to sort of do it at the moment because it's been so ridiculously busy for me and really really hard yes yeah, it's, it's been a difficult year I, for one, can't wait for 2019 to be over. <sighs> I stay and it's only September, so, you know, keep trucking along, Mika. It can only get better. Anyway, let's carry on down the list that I've been reading. So I finished off, um, I, I mentioned tunnels a little while ago before I went rambling on, as I do. Um, and I definitely want to create tunnels that join every single room up so you can access everywhere that you need to access all via the tunnels so that is something that i definitely want to do so just have a sip of my coffee there getting a little bit of a jet <coughs> um, so yeah i definitely want to do tunnels and i know and you guys are probably thinking mika why are you giving yourself so much work to do in answer to that question i just i don't know I don't know. I get something in my head that I feel the need to do and I basically cannot stop thinking about it until I've done it. Do any of you guys experience that? 
just got rid of those fences that I originally put. I knew from the start that I wasn't going to keep them, but I um, I left them there anyway, for reference, I don't know, but yeah, I've, I, I've gotten rid of them. This is me doing the, um, this is me doing all of the little front gardens. I don't know why, I just thought it might look a little bit, uh, might look cute, what do you think? Is this, is this too much? Is all of it too much? <coughs> Am I too much? Don't answer that, I need to get another sip of my coffee. I do apologise. Okie dokie. I am going to finish this list. Christ almighty, I'm going to finish this list if it kills me. 15. Tunnels. 16. Church. <laughs> 17. Bathrooms. Oh, and one thing that I'm just going to... Let me just do a little bit of ASMR there. Turn my pen on. There we go. 17. <clears throat> Headmistress office because obviously every headmistress needs a um needs her own office and i know the reason why it's not on this list is because i created a new level it's not there at the moment but um i will be doing another level in the main building and that is where her office is going to be we're right at the top she's going to have her own staircase i thought she deserved that she does such good work. I'm talking about this woman like I know her. I spent literally all of about five minutes with her because I took her back into cast when I realised that she'd moved herself into my lot and wanted to insert herself into my game. I took a little bit of time and um, I took her into cast, put some CC onto her. She has vitiligo. Um, she's absolutely gorgeous. She has beautiful hair. She's very slender. She's very slender, slender sim. I literally just added things. I didn't change anything about her. I just gave her some CC. I gave her new hair because her original hair was this blonde mess. Oh, and by the way, guys, she's an alien. <laughs> I completely forgot to tell you that. She is an alien. Um, so yeah, an alien decided to move herself into my plot and set herself into my game. And I have embraced her wholeheartedly. I have changed her name to Katie, which is um, a nod to my fiance's grandma, Katie Buffong, who Blakey is also named after her surname anyway. Um, but she is not related to Blakely at all. I just imagined her to be a really lovely, lovely, caring, intelligent woman. And that reminds me of Katie. So that's why I called her Katie. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're sort of getting towards the end of, of, of the basics of the outside. There's a hell of a lot of uh, um, fine detail that needs to go into this build and I am obsessed with cluttering things and I'm a Virgo so attention to detail is, my, is, is a crippling um, aspect of my personality. Yes, you're quite right. You, uh, are there any other Virgos out there? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> why does it why does it take us so long to do anything? Anyway, um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of details that needs to go into the outside of this build, and that is going to predominantly be my next video. The thing is, I have not finished. I still haven't finished the detailing of the outside. And I'm kind of feeling like I need to do it in a specific order for you guys. So I'd quite like to understand what you guys think about this next, next sentence. Um, so as it stands, I've just completed the botany wing and I've completed the defensive casting classroom. So would you want me, like the next video I've already edited, I just need to do a voiceover for it, and that is um, the staircases for the outside and a little bit of detailing for the outside. So for the third video, do you just want to see me furnish the botany wing and the defensive casting wing, or do you want me to do it properly and for the video after that to be the, the minute detailing of the outside? And then we can go into another set of maybe three videos for the furnishing of the inside. What do you guys think? Have you got an opinion about that? Um, I'm not too sure at this point. Like I said, my next video is, um, it does have, it's all about the outside. 
like I said, it's just a little bit of detailing. Some plant life is going in. Um, like I said, I make I make use of the fully configurable staircases. Which, by the way, who else lost their absolute <clears throat> when they found out that they could configure staircases? Like I squealed. I actually genuinely squealed, and my fiance looked at me like I was losing the plot. Like I'd lost, I'd lost my mind. My mind had waved goodbye, and it had trotted off into the sunset. He's, he's looking at me right now with the same expression. He was like, "It's just a staircase." I'm like, "You do not say that to a simmer. You do not say it's just a staircase to a simmer. It no, it's not just a staircase. It's something that we've been waiting for." for what feels like my entire life i'm not gonna exaggerate. that's not an exaggeration that's genuinely how i feel about it um so who who else also thinks that they have created the configurable staircases and all of the other updates that they're currently doing who else thinks they're doing this because of the upcoming game paralyme conspiracy i think i think that they are upping their game because they need to it's there's there's competition out there. I can't. I was watching a video. I can't even remember what it was now. But it basically, it was talking about um, competition. And if one company or one business, one organisation monopolises a um, a marketplace, that means that you ha you're basically lumped with whatever they give you. You know, they decide what the trends are, they decide what you have, and that's pretty much it because we haven't got any other options. But if there is a competitive, um, you know, if there's a competitor out there, if there's a another business that you need to, you know, do one upmanship with, then you're constantly going to be putting quality, quality content and quality products out there. That's just my opinion. I'd love to know what your opinion is of it. Um, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I've had an absolute blast, as I always do. And um, thank you so much. Like, like my letters say, thank you so much for watching. Part two um, will certainly be coming soon. Within the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing the voiceover as soon as possible. As you can see, configurable staircases. Super exciting. Anyway, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. You take care of yourself, guys. And I'll see you real soon. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.